this is the very first video of area so first we will understand what actually an area is area is the space occupied by an object on a plane surface like if you have a stool let me draw one stool so this is the stool it has four legs so this is actually occupying this much area on the floor right this much area is getting occupied by this stool on the floor so this is the area which this stool occupies now suppose if you have a carpet which you have spread over like this this shaded portion is the area of this carpet is the space occupied by this carpet and hence it is called the area of the carpet right these are the regular shapes but suppose if you have something like very regular like something like this again the space occupied by this object is this much the shaded portion right so the shaded portion is the area of this object right why because this is occupying this much space of the plane surface right so this is called the area of this object now the question arises how to calculate the area so there are different methods of calculating the area in the next few videos we will be learning how to calculate the area of some defined figures some defined geometrical shapes right if you can divide the space into some defined geometrical shape you can calculate the area otherwise also if you can you are not able to define a shape into standard geometrical figures then also we can calculate the area but that will be approximate area calculating the accurate area of ir very irregular shapes like this which we have drawn over here is slightly difficult but we can definitely calculate the area of such figures in very near approximation so now let's discuss how do we calculate the area of shapes and what is the unit of the area now let's first discuss the unit of area you might have seen or you might have heard that we talk about the carpet area of the flat or we talk about the size of the land everywhere we actually talk about the area in which that flat or that land is spread over you might have heard that the carpet area of a flat in india it's usually measured in square feet right and in some other countries it is measured in square meter and when you do mathematics you find the area of a rectangle or a triangle in square centimeters isn't it so what this square is what is the meaning of the square i know all of you know that the square is a quadrilateral where all its sides are equal and all the interior angles are equal which are 90 degree right so this square centimeter actually means that particular area contains tiny squares of 1 cm by 1 cm so this actually denotes how many tiny squares of 1 cm by 1 cm that particular shape contains similarly the square feet also denotes the number of tiny squares of 1 foot by 1 foot that particular area has and square meters means a square of 1 meter by 1 meter dimension so now let's strengthen our knowledge a little bit further how we actually calculate the area suppose if we have a figure something like this so first thing we do if we want to calculate the area since this is not a regular figure so no formula can be applicable to this particular figure first thing we do is we divide this figure into a grid of unit squares a grid which has squares of unit dimensions suppose this is the grid then this tiny square is actually unit by unit dimension right it can be 1 cm by 1 cm 1 foot by 1 foot or 1 meter by 1 meter so the area of this tiny square is 
one square unit. So now we can calculate how many these tiny squares are there. See these, this, this, this and the one which I have already shaded this one and this one and this one, this. These are complete squares which are inside that area but some other squares like this one, this one, this and this, these are not complete squares and this is also not a complete square, right? So then we actually see how much, suppose this square, if we talk about, this is almost complete. This is more than half inside the inside that particular figure. Similarly, this is almost half. This is less than half. This is less than half. This is more than half, right? This is more than half and this is less than half. So what we do while calculating the area of such irregular figures is if there is a square which is more than half inside the shape for which we are calculating the area, we calculate this as one full. We will calculate this also as one full. And if we have half, we calculate this as one full, right? As you have learned the nearest tens or nearest hundreds, the same rule we follow here. If a square is half or more than half inside the shape, we calculate it as one. And if the square, the part of square is less than half, we calculate it as zero. Here we are counting more than half as one and less than half as zero because eventually one more than half and one less than half will make a complete square. So this will give you approximate number of complete squares which can be constructed using these truncated squares. So this will be zero. These two portions we can calculate as zero. This is more than half, so we will calculate it as one. This is less than half, so we will count it as zero. This is also less than half, so we will count this also as zero. And this is also less than half, so we will count this also as zero. So if we are asked to find the approximate area of this shape, which I had drawn in white color, we can say that this is, let us calculate how many squares are there with red dots. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve squares in red dot. Sorry, they will be 11 because this is, this square is not complete. It is more than half. So we will calculate it in green. So let now let again count how many squares are there with red dot in them. So they, they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. 11 with red dots in them and how many of them are in green dots? Lots of them are there. But let's see how many we are going to count as one. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. So five we are counting as full because they are more than half inside the shape. So the total area of this irregular shape will be 11 plus five, 16, square units, right? If this grid is one centimeter by one centimeter, the area will be 16 square centimeter. And if this grid is in meters, meter by meter, one meter by one meter, the area will be 16 square meters, right? So this is the way we calculate the area of shape.